Hi everybody, my name is Brian. Um, I'm making a video tonight because I want to talk about the proper way to install roofing underlayment and drip edge. Um, and it has to do with the order of installation in which these two products are installed. Um, time and time again, almost once a week, I go to a homeowner's house and they have, this, they have the same problem. Um, they have water that runs between the gutter and the fascia of their home. And, uh, and obviously that's not where water belongs. Um, the long-term effects is that it rots out the fascia. So, you know, I, I get up on these, on these roofs time and time again, and I notice that it is the exact same reoccurring problem. And again, it has to do with the order of installation in which these products are installed. Um, you know, right now I'm in Arizona, and in Arizona you do not have to pull a permit to install a roof. Um, other states like Florida or, or, or Colorado, you, you do pull permits, and with that permit you get inspections. One of those inspections is a mid-roof inspection, which means you, you tear off a roof, you install your underlayment, your drip edge, and you have an inspector come out and um, he pretty much signs off whether it's done right or wrong. If we had that in Arizona, this wouldn't be a problem. The roofs would be done perfectly, um, but it, it's simply not that way. Um, unfortunately, roofers have you know been able to, to do it incorrectly. Um, and uh, not think twice about it. Um, some of the effects, you know, if a homeowner notices that water is running between the gutter and the fascia, they'll call and they'll notice it. However, a lot of times they will not even realize that it's a problem until it's way too late. Fascia is rotten and you're looking at, you know, a, a very expensive repair. Um, like I say, you know, underlayment. There's different types of underlayment, 15 pound, 30 pound felt, there's 90 pound roll roof, there's synthetic underlayment. Um, no matter which type of underlayment you have, it's, it's, it's done the same way throughout. Um, you know, I, I, I drew a little bit of a diagram here. Um, let's see if I can, there we go. Um, so, uh, right here, so this is called, it's a, a gable roof is what it's called. You have the eave down here and the gable on the end. And those are the two areas that we're going to be talking about. Um, down here at the eave of a roof, drip edge is installed first. Um, after that, felt goes on top, so on and so forth. On the gable ends, it's the opposite. Felt is installed first and drip edge goes on top of the felt. The reason why they do that is it's kind of like a wind warranty. Um, if, if you had a big windstorm, shingles blew off, that drip edge holding on the felt is some extra protection. Hopefully the felt stays on and you don't have leaks. Um, however, it is imperative, not only imperative, it's manufacturer's specifications. This is how you install it. Drip edge goes on first and the felt goes on top. Right here, I have two examples. The lower one is is the proper way of, of doing it. Again, drip edge first, felt over top of the drip edge. Um, you, you can plastic cap or hammer tack that felt on afterwards. Right here is the improper way of doing it. As you can see, you have a, a piece of fascia board here. Um, felt rolled out, drip edge on top, and... Uh, Gosh, you know, it's, it's, it's almost as simple as water rolls downhill. If you were to pour a cup of water right here, water would run down, run underneath the felt, between the drip edge and the fascia, and that's where you get your problem. Um, so, like I say, it's, it's, it's a problem. It's designed so that after I put a gutter on a home, all water that runs off your roof will make it to the bottom of your downspout if your underlayment is installed properly. Um, you know, real quick, I, I wanna clarify this. There are a few examples where this is not the case. Um, metal roofing, metal roofing, it's a different animal. It's done differently. You install all of your felt synthetic underlayment first, then you install your drip edge. Um, they run a, a it's called a, a mastic strip along the drip edge and they pretty much seal your, your metal roof panels um, to the drip edge. This is pertinent to asphalt shingle roofs. It's also pertinent to tile roofing. However, with tile roofing, there's an extra step. 
there's an extra piece of metal down at the end. It's called an eave riser. Um, they also call it bird stop. Um, but underneath those extra steps, that 90 pound roll roofing or whatever type of underlayment they have used is, is on top of the drip edge at the eaves of the roof. Again, this is the proper way of doing it. This is the improper way of doing it. Um, you know, I was, yesterday I happened to be, um, I, was, I was measuring a job to do gutters and I happened to get on the roof and they were in the middle of doing the roof. Literally the, the front half of the roof was installed. Um, underlayment and drip edge was on everywhere. I'm going to go to that clip as soon as I'm done talking here. Um, you know, hopefully this video has helped in, in some way, whether it's a homeowner, whether it's a contractor. Um, please, if it did, leave a comment below. Ask, ask me whatever questions you would like. Um, you know, I, I really appreciate you watching my, my video. Um, hopefully it, it has helped in some way, shape, or form. Uh, you know, most importantly, I got to stress that these are not suggestions. Um, I was talking to a roofer the other day that, that I noticed this problem. I had a homeowner and I had the roofer was right there. I said, hey, hey man, you guys did this wrong. Um, he says to me, he says, I've been doing this 20 years. Um, I've been doing it this way and I've never had, had a problem and hopefully you haven't had problems. Um, but gosh, no matter how long you've been installing roofs, if you, if you do not have your felt running on top of your drip edge at the eaves, it's, it's, big, it's installed the wrong way. Um, you can go to, you can go to Google, you can type in images, proper way to install proper order of installation. Um, on my underlayment and drip edge, and you get a hundred diagrams that all say this exact same thing. This is how you do it. Uh, I appreciate you watching my video. Have a good night. Thank you very much.